Good afternoon, my name is Brian Fruggerio. Our presentation is over Fastenal. Our team name is Team One, so here we go. Uh, just very quickly, I would like to define supply chain management, and that's just a streamlining of business supply side of the activities to maximize the customer's value, and that um, gains a competitive advantage in the marketplace. Just a quick overview of Fastenal, it was founded in 1967. Um, the industry is construction supplies and hardware. Um, it is a vendor managed inventory and essentially what that means is it receives products from the vendors and then delivers it to the customers. Um, just general information about the company is that there's over 2,600 branches and help customers with and without accounts. So, there's just a wide range of customers that go through Fastenal Company. All right, my name is Nathan Abert, and I'm going to be talking to you about the just the current supply chain of Fastenal, um, just to give you an idea of what they're working with. Basically, uh, they have regional and national warehouses. Um, there, for example, there's one in Kansas City that the store in Cape Girardeau works through, where if they need a product to deliver it to them, it usually takes about a day. Um, the distribution centers are located strategically around the country to keep each branch stocked with product. Um, and there are different types of distri distribution centers. Um, for example, M-Hub, which is in Kansas City, um, is a name that is distributed. It's a distribution center that is used to just stock your branches, solely to stock branches. Um, if you're out of a product at a store, um, you can fill out a quote, and that quote will be filled and shipped to you. Um, in the next day or two. Another example of a hub or distribution center is a T-Hub, which is uh, a distribution center strictly used to stock vending machines. Um, there are actually more vending machines that Fastenal uses in their company than there are red boxes in the United States. Um, just kind of a cool fact for you. Um, but these vending machines will be used to uh, um, like stock for factory workers if they need new gloves, um, glasses, or anything like that. And I've got a quote here um, that's from Forbes basically saying, uh, compounding Fastenal's multiple advantages is the integration of its supply chain activities, creating a formidable barrier of entry for new competitors. The company owns manufacturing facilities, a transportation fleet, distribution centers, inventory supply systems, and retailing and sales services facilities. Um, a little bit about the shipping, uh, what Fastenal does to ship product, whether it's from a vendor, store, or branch. Um, both stock and customer orders come in every day off the truck, usually in large totes um, that have to be received in. The stock and orders are checked in um, in our receiving center in the back, and then um, distribu distributed to the customers or to their spot in the branch. Um, I was talking to the manager, and they have designated areas for each um, letter of the alphabet and that's where the customer's orders will be placed or um, if it's just inventory for the store, it'll be brought up to the front and be put away in its designated area. Um, one thing that does decide shipping and how long it takes is its distance and um, the distance of a distribution center from the branch uh, that needs the product determines the time for the product ship. Um, for an example, like I previously stated, the distribution center in Kansas City um, is where Cape Girardeau goes out of, and it would only take one day um, for the product to get from that distribution center to Kansas City. Another example were to be um, if the Cape Girardeau store were to order product from, say, New York, it would take est estimated probably three days for the product to get there just because they have to process the order, the order has to ship, and it has to be received in by us. Um, the last slide about current supply chain system is uh, it's just the information that we or Fastenal needs to order the product. Um, the company needs a purchasing order or what we call a PO. Uh, companies will give the Fastenal employee a PO um, which will help their company document inventory transactions. There's actually a rule um, for a lot of customers that their employees cannot order product or buy product without a PO. Um, this helps track their inventory transactions so that their accounts receivables and their um, financing is uh, kept in place and kept in order. Um, an account name, a customer can create an account name with the branch if they feel they're going to be purchasing items through Fastenal a lot. Um, they can set up almost like a credit card where they are billed once a month and they can make payments. Um, 
they have some they have a limit that they have to follow and as long as they continue to make their payments they uh, their credit limit or their limit of how much they can pay will go up and the last thing they need is a job number and it's similar to a purchasing order number the job number just helps keep inventory transaction organized um, for example right now I asked the manager of Fastenal an example of a job number um, the St. Francis Hospital out in Cape um, is, is one of the jobs that a lot of companies are currently working on, so they would put that in place for the job number. And then uh, this is just recommendations for the local from the local Fastenal manager, his name is Scott Fisher. Um, he just wants better communication between Fastenal's vendors, who are the companies like 3M or Metabo, um, that they get their products from, the distribution centers and the branches. Um, an example of that he gave to, uh, to better communication would just be creating an internet database uh, for each of those groups and easing the process of tracking an order or product needed for a customer. Um, another example would be using a better tracking system um, with certain checkpoints and estimated time of delivery for the day the product is supposed to come in. Um, this just gives the branch employees an idea of when they can deliver product to their customers. And just gives them um, more time to prepare to get that order um, packed and ready for the customer when they come in or when we deliver it to them. And the last uh, point is going to be just tracking an order. Um, there's three different types of orders. Your vendor orders, warehouse orders, and branch orders. Vendor orders are just orders coming from a company, Fastenal, um, that produces products for the Fastenal company. So say Fastenal needs um, some angle grinders from Metabo they would order that from Metabo and they would ship that in because we don't stock that at our store. Um, Fastenal would then take that price and would have to mark it up so that they would make a profit off of that product. Um, and, and another example is warehouse orders, which is orders coming from a distribution center across the nation. And like I previously stated, the time of that order um, is just based on how far away the distribution center is from the branch that's ordering it. And then branch orders, which is products requested by requested from one branch to another if needed by a customer. Um, they call this a branch transfer. Uh, you would have to call up a store, have them check and see if that was in stock, and if it was, they would fill out a, um, a packing slip and they would ship that to your store within the next day or two. And now I'm going to call up Adam and he's going to talk to you about the next point. Uh, I'm Adam Attila. I'm going to talk to you about the strategy. Um, what is the bull method? Uh, Fastenal needs to find ways to get their message in front of consumers without them having an interest or desire to buy the product. Another one is the pull method, the strategy that can be created after the relationship is built between the customer and the company. Fastenal can expect customers old and new to come to them for hardware needs and for them to request specific products. Another one is the push method. Based... Another one... Yeah is based on the forecast of demand. Fastenal is a company based on sales. Fastenal needs to push its vending project and product onto current and potential customers. The vending project helps maintain inventory and save customers money. Now I'm going to talk to you about the production or operations management. This is designing a method of input and output that is healthiest for a Fastenal company. They can use a pull method, which is monitoring, distribution, and transportation for items that would have been used during the pull method. This helps quickly respond to customer demand. The next is the push method, which implements process through three steps. Forecast for future demand of product, have a process that follows the demand for the product, and oversees the product line to see that it runs as smoothly as possible. So in regards to counting, for the supply chain management, um, it's essential to keep accurate track of the inventory. So what we are going to do is create a tracking system for the customers to see when payments are due and also know how much they have spent that day, week, month, year. Um, a way to actually receive the money that is due to us is we would implement a net 230 which would be if they paid us within the 30 days, they would get a 2% discount. However, if they didn't pay before that 30 days, or there would be a fine assessed. Um, something to do that would keep our bookkeeping easier uh, would be QuickBooks. This wouldn't be a, a corporation-wide resource. However, it would be branch by branch. 
and um, it would help with daily operations of the inventory, accounts receivable, track employee hours. Um, this just would track inventory 10 times easier as um, the current manager stated that is something that they lack and this is a way that it will be able to keep track with time, efficiency, and really communication through the system. Now we will go to Linda with marketing. Okay, so we want to promote the company more because nobody has really heard about Fessner, even though it's uh, growing a lot. Long-term investors have already taken notice of the company's strong performance chasing after its stock, which since 1987 has outperformed the stocks of Apple and Microsoft. This is a quote from Forbes as well, just so that you have an idea of what we're talking about when we talk about Fastly. The goal of the company will be to bring more customers to the branches so that sales, growth, and profits increase. Market the vending machines that could greatly improve the company's inventory and profit will be another goal, and advertise what sets Fastly from um, other companies apart. So there are uh, five distinct advantages they have over competitors. And that's also why they have built a barrier so that other competitors or new competitors couldn't really um, enter the market. One of them is scale, because they have, as we already heard, um, around 2,600 stores in the US and Mexico. And that would be a uh, cost savings for them because they are so much then the next one is Scope. Um, they have a lot of different products um, from one single offer corporation and 15 product lines. The next one is Customization. Manufacturing facilities can tailor to different customer needs because it's you know, such a big corporation. The uh, fourth one is Bundling. It creates unique consumer offerings and they have highly trained personnel. And the last one is Aggregation. So putting a large number of orders together is one of their specialties. And they also um, they have that offer for customers that they cut their transaction costs. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Amberly, and I'm going to talk about the Human Resources Department. For the Human Resources Department, we're not too impacted by the push-pull method that we're implementing. But we do want to make sure that all the departments are working together and so that we can get everything to the client appropriately, sorry, the customer rather. Um, we want to make sure that we are building a happy, healthy working environment for our employees and we're going to make sure that we reward them when they do everything correctly. Um, let's see, there's three categories in this department that we're looking at the staffing, the employee compensation benefits, and we also define and design the workload. MIS, this is the Management Information Systems Department, and for the push-pull method that we are implementing, on the pull side of it, in order to um, improve the communication between all the branches nationwide and from the supplier to the actual stores, we're going to implement a universal electronic uh, routing sheet. Um, this way we can ensure that everybody's using the same method and it's easy to track where everything is at all times if the customer calls and asks when their order is coming in. Um, on the push side, we are going to create an online inventory search by store for sales, uh, for salespeople so they can look at nearby stores. If we don't have a product in the store that a customer is in here today looking for, they can look at a store 30 miles away and see if they have it. That way they don't have to wait for the manufacturer to send it to our store to get it to the customer. They can uh, actually maybe somebody go pick it up for them today or tomorrow. Um, MIS, we're also uh, worried about the protection of the client or customer's information. If they're placing orders with us, we're going to have their credit card information, and we don't want that stolen, so we're going to put into place some good software to protect their information. We're also going to, with this new push-pull methods that we're putting out there, we're going to make sure that everybody nationwide is trained the same on our new uh, software so that there's no mistakes. In conclusion, rolling out this new plan for push-pull, we are going to, our first step is to create a strong relationship between ourselves and our customers. Um, 
And then our next step is to make sure that each department, each of these five departments that we discussed, that they have their roles down. This way we can improve the supply and inventory so that the product is sold and that there is growth within the company. That is all. Thank you very much. Thank you guys very much. Hope you enjoyed the video.